Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. The Lord has done great things for us. Holy is His name. With this sentiment of humble gratitude, we are here before the Lord. Today is a day of joy, a day of rejoicing. It is Jubilee, a Jubilee of our medical college undergraduate program, celebrating 25 years of commitment of imparting medical knowledge. There is a deep feeling of gratitude within each one of us, a gratitude to God for all his love, graciousness, and benevolence. Today, we also inaugurate the academic year 2023-24 with joy and gratefulness. We thank the Lord for bringing all new entrants of all courses of different units of Father Muller's charitable institutions here to study and to embark on a new journey of profession as healthcare personnel. We are here to proclaim the steadfast love of Lord which never ceases. On this favorable day, we pray for our present and past directors, administrators, deans, faculty members, staff, and students for their contribution in the growth of this college. It is through their dedicated service, Father Muller's charitable institutions has reached, witnessed, and immense success stories and faced challenges with faith and courage. We thank the Lord for enabling us to transform thousands of students as visionary leaders and compassionate healthcare professionals. This Silver Jubilee invites us to continue our mission with renewed commitment. This renewed energy can be attained through this Eucharistic celebration. Therefore, with folded hands, let us ask the Lord to bless us all. We have gathered here, my dear friends, to inaugurate the academic year 23-24 of Medical Sciences, Medical College, and also Allied Sciences. Today is a great day because we are going to inaugurate or begin the 25th year of the medical college that we started in the year 1999. I remember I taken a delegation of important political leaders to meet the then Chief Minister Jesh Patil. And uh, with me there was late Blazes D'Souza, Oscar Fernandez, Ivan D'Souza and many other important VIPs. We were given the appointment at 9.30 in the morning, but we had to wait till in the evening 6.40 where we met the Chief Minister and there he promised to grant us permission for the medical college. That was the beginning of what happened at the initial stage of starting the medical college. And then George Fernandez was in the center, late George Fernandez minister. He was the one who obtained for us permission from the center to start the medical college and therefore he was called to inaugurate the year of uh, the medical college. We feel grateful to God who has been so good to us in every way. The growth of the medical college, the very various academic courses, all that is because the God has been good to us, God has been kind to us, His mercy is steadfast, His love is steadfast. And therefore, we are here gratefully to acknowledge God's blessings and ask the Lord 
to bless this year, academic year, that we are starting both for medical college, MBBS course, as well as allied sciences for various other courses. Unless God blesses us, we will not be able to do anything. God has to take the initial step for us. And God is always there to help us. Let us place our trust in Him. Let us ask Him that He may bless us, bless every one of the students, that they may achieve success in their academic career. Also, the staff, the administration, and all those who work in this institution, may the blessings of God guide them, lead them forward, and bless them. With these thoughts in mind, my dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to offer this Thanksgiving Mass, asking the Lord's pardon for our sins and failures. Together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, 
who always listen mercifully to your servants in distress we humbly beseech you as we give thanks for your kindness that free from all evil we may constantly serve you in gladness through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever A reading from the letter of St Paul to the Romans Paul a servant of Christ Jesus called to be an apostle set apart for the gospel of God which he promised beforehand through his prophets and the holy scriptures concerning his son who is descended from David according to the flesh and was declared to be the son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead Jesus Christ our lord through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the nations including you who are called to belong to Jesus Christ to all those in Rome who are loved by God and called to be saints grace to you and peace from God our father and the lord jesus christ the word of the lord thanks be to god Hey 
rise for the gospel acclamation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, o As Jesus made his way to Jerusalem, he went along the border between Samaria and Galilee. He was going into a village when he was met by ten men suffering from a dreaded and from a dreaded skin disease. They stood at a distance and shouted, Jesus, Master, take pity on us. Jesus saw them and said to them, Go and let the priest examine you. On the way, they were made clean. When one of them saw that he was healed, he came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself to the ground at Jesus' feet and thanked him. The man was a Samaritan. Jesus said, there were ten men who were healed. Where are the other nine? Why is this foreigner the only one who came back to give thanks to God? And Jesus said to him, Get up and go. Your faith has made you well. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear Bishop, Father Director, Administrators, my brother priests, Reverend Sisters, Principals, Dean, Nurses, Doctors, and my dear students, very good morning to all of you. We are here in this beautiful chapel, which is also called the powerhouse then when I was the administrator in 2006 and even now and this is the powerhouse this is a beautiful chapel for everyone who comes into this campus whether it is students whether it is teachers doctors or nurses whether it is patient this is a beautiful place and we, we are all here in this chapel this morning to celebrate dual inaugurals, double inaugurals, the inaugural of the Silver Jubilee year of the MBBS course started in the year 1999 and the inaugural of the academic year 2023-24, hence this Thanksgiving Mass. I'm sure you're all mentally prepared to listen to a longer homily than the usual, am I right? Because this is not the usual celebration that we have, the weekday celebration. This is a dual celebration. We inaugurate dual inaugurals and that calls for a celebration and that demands a longer homily. I hope you are prepared for that. Friends, there's a saying which goes like this. 
the generous might forget what they have given but the grateful will grateful will always remember what they have received previous this father mullah charitable institution has been existing for the past 140 years or so and god has been our strong companion and guide jubilee is an also an occasion to recollect recognize appreciate is no more who passed away a month back it's also an occasion to thank all the past and present directors and administrator administrators the governing board the chairman unfortunately i'm glad that the founder chairman bishop aloysius is present with us to celebrate this mass as the main celebrant and i must appreciate father richard quelio for his thoughtfulness of inviting bishop aloysius for this celebration and i remember he was the one who appointed me as administrator in the year 2006 until 2013 uh, then i shifted to udupi diocese this is an occasion to recollect recognize and appreciate and thank all the reverend sisters especially various congregation sisters are here especially the sisters of charity who've been here for the past hundred years or so the doctors the nurses the paramedics all the support staff every employee for their dedication and commitment towards the medical education and the healing ministry secondly jubilee is an occasion to look within and evaluate introspection simhava lokana we say it in Kannada. they say the king of the animals lion walks majestically and after a few steps majestically looks back on the trodden path and feels happy about it that is simhava lokana or atma avalokana introspection we need to evaluate because socrates says an unexamined life is not worth living an unexamined life is not worth living now the evaluation part thanking part yes we do evaluation also we need to how have we fared during the past 25 years of medical education is it mediocre have we compromised on quality in education have we served the sick and the suffering with empathy did we see the divine in the sick and the suffering brethren it is swami vivekananda who had said if you want to find god then save mankind if you want to find god then save mankind that's what a healthcare professional is called for as i make the above statement that if you want to find god then save man i am deeply disturbed and pained with the developments in Israel, Palestine, and Gaza Strip, where all humanity is lost. Forget about seeing the divine in the other, their man has become wolf to the other. In Latin they say, homo homini lupus. Can the end justify the means? Can the civilians be massacred in that way? Have we lost all sensitivity? The war, the justice, does not mean that you have to kill the civilians the innocent people it is not justified at all whether it is palestine muslims or whether it is jews in israel my heart goes out to them and the similar work i'm, I'm referring to it because we need to if you want to find god see god in your sick brothers or sisters let's come back to our context of silver jubilee and ask a serious question do i find god in the sick brethren of mine have I totally commercialized the medical education and health care or is there some sanctity of the profession left in me? Friends, I can confidently say that in Father Muller Medical College, the legacy of its founder, Reverend Father Augustus Muller, of finding God in the suffering persons is still continued. I can boldly say that, I can vouch for that. The ethical principles are practiced here very much and human values are fostered and promoted thanks to the dedicated team of administration the director administrators and team of doctors and nurses and while evaluating it's also time to rededicate recommit and reconsecrate to our mission and ministry on this jubilee day or the inaugural of the jubilee year the third look is look forward and trust god Yes, 25 years is a milestone to be celebrated, but it is not the end of the road. The best is yet to come. 
the race of medical education and healing is not over yet. We have earned only a silver medal. The relay race of medical education and healing started by Reverend Father Augustus Muller has to go on. The baton of the race will be handed over to the new batch of MBBS today, 23-24. Are the students present here, 23-24 batch? Are you all here? Who are the new batch students here? Oh, a few are there. The baton has been handed over to you today to run the race of medical education, of values and principles, the medical ethics. Are you ready to run the race? Ask this question. On the very first day of your uh, education or stay here and run the race with a difference. Huh? Run the race with a difference. Father Muller students make a difference wherever they go. I would like to conclude with an episode told by the late Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. I had the good fortune of sharing the days with him when he had come to inaugurate the oncology center, our oncology center in the year 2007. I know I must tell you that he is an embodiment of humility, simplicity, knowledge, and wisdom. Childlike simplicity. He was very fond of Jesuits, Jesuit priests, because he was educated by the Jesuits. One of the persons he mentions quite often, he mentioned quite often, was Reverend Father Thomas Sequera of Mangalore origin, the principal of St. Joseph College, Trichy, Tiruchinapalli. He calls him his mentor, guide, and role model. Here goes the episode. Dr. Kalam hailed from a very poor fisherman family. There was no money to pay his fees even for his study. But he had a desire to study more. After his SSLC, he comes to St. Joseph College, Trichy. He goes to the office, and at the office they say, if you have no money, you have no seat here. Get out. And he was very disappointed. He wanders about in that campus throughout the day. In the evening, he sits under a huge tree. And Father Sequera, Thomas Sequera, who had come there to the garden to say his evening prayer, sees this boy and inquires about him. Who are you, young man? He says, I am Kalam, Abdul Kalam. I'm a very poor man. I'm hailing from a fisherman folk family. I have no money to pay the fees. I used to sell newspapers on a bicycle, the Hindu newspaper from the Madras mail or the Rameshwara mail. I used to collect and distribute. I have no money now. I went to the office. I was sent out. Father Sikwara said, don't worry, young man. Come tomorrow to my office. And the Kalam was not very sure. He advised, will I get a seat? Now, young man, go home and come back. The next day he comes and goes to the office of Father Sequera. Father Sequera gives a note to the office and it was written, please admit this boy. Not only that, he gets an admission in the hostel and every month Father Sequera used to go to the hostel, give him some pocket money, a postcard, and he used to tell him, write a postcard letter to your mother or father and you must be in touch with them. Okay, that's history, rest is history. He completes his education, graduation, post-graduation, becomes a scientist, project leader at ISRO, missile man and president, the president of India. For the oath-taking ceremony, he invites Father Sikwera and the Jesuits of that college. But when the priests come here, he gets to know that Father Sikwera is no more. He feels very sad. Well, during his very first meeting, home visit, he goes to Trichy College, goes to the chapel, and ask the fathers there, where have you laid to rest Father Sequera? And they show him the grave. He goes there, kneels down, says a prayer, and tears roll down from his eyes. He gets up. There were so many people. He was the president. There was so much of security. He says, Father Sequera, look at your boy. Your dear Kalam is here. And he gets up and says to everyone around him, if at all I am somebody today, it's because of Father Sequera. But for this priest, Sequera, I wouldn't have been what I am today. All that I have belongs to this Father Sequera. This is gratitude. This is Guru Vandana. This is one of the meanings of the Jubilee. The students who have graduated from Father Muller Medical College for the last 25 years, who may have become great doctors and scientists today, must say like Dr. Kalam, 
if at all we are somebody today it's because of father muller medical college our committed management and our revered gurus and the staff here of course the parents who have sacrificed so much for the medical education of their wards cannot be forgotten mind you remember your parents all the time they have sacrificed a lot for your education L let us look forward with hope trust faith and optimism we do not know what the future holds for us but we know who holds the future we do not know what the future holds for us we know what who holds the future can we rededicate ourselves to a mission of healing the sick and the suffering can we recommit ourselves to quality medical education based on the strong ethical principles of saving lives saving lives i emphasize on that can we instill greatest human values in our students are you ready to run the race of father augustus mulla Please stand for the prayers of the faithful. Brothers and sisters, we are here to celebrate, celebrate the academic year of uh, medical college and also other allied sciences to thank God for giving us 25 years to serve humanity in the medical college and therefore we are here to thank him that is present our petitions our prayers to god our heavenly father your response shall be lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer we pray for our holy father pope francis and all the leaders and ministers in the church may they always be a living witness of the length and breadth of the love you have for all people your response Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Every day is a gift of your love for us. Thank you for 25 years of abundant blessings and enveloping care over Father Muller Medical College. May these silver years help help us to be grateful and march forward to be a better in commitment and service. Bless all who have contributed to its growth. your response lord, lord hear our prayer we pray for our political leaders in our country that they may be blessed inspire them to be people who will have the well-being of others at heart and work for peace brotherhood unity and prosperity we pray for the war stricken countries may they strive towards peace your response Lord hear our prayer We pray for our institutions bless all at management faculty staff and students patients and their families may the motto of the institution heal and comfort inspire everyone to strive for quality in whatever we do may all the plans and projects of the institutions be completed as per the time schedule and may all our teaching units receive needed sanctions your response lord, lord hear our prayer. prayer we implore your blessings on all students our alumni spread all over the world those studying now and those who will start their academic year today for the year 2023-24 as we welcome them into the father muller family may they all strive to uphold the ethos and values of this institution and grow to be excellent healthcare professionals and good human beings your response lord hear our prayer that all of us gathered around this eucharistic table nourished by the body and blood of christ may experience god's forgiving and unconditional love for us and be the witness of the same to whomever we meet your response lord hear our prayer as we begin the silver jubilee of a medical college dear lord be with us all through the year that what we have begun 
may successfully go for take forward may your mercy be with us and what we have requested listen to our prayer so that what we seek at your promptings we may obtain by your ready generosity through Christ our lord amen stress through Christ our lord Amen. the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your heart we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy is yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift since our praises had nothing in your pitas for our salvation through Christ our Lord and so in the choirs of angels we praise you and without end we acclaim you are indeed holy o lord and all creation all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name and therefore oh lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration 
that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he called us the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when we suppose ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of a we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son his wonderful resurrection and ascension into heaven and as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice look we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Peter Paul our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for you for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
at the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as you forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Almighty God, who through this bread of life are pleased to free your servants from the bond of sin and in your compassion to restore their strength, grant us to advance without hindrance towards the hope of glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Our hearts are filled with joy and gratitude to praise and thank the Lord for the gift of this medical college and for all the blessings on us and on our institutions. And we pray for your good health and also that your mission may be fulfilled and the Lord may grant you good health of mind and body to serve still the Diocese of Mangalore. But a beautiful sermon, heart touching sermon today he preached. And Father Dennis, we are grateful to you. At present, Father Dennis is the PRO of the Diocese of Udupi and also the parish priest of St. Anne's Church, Tottam, Malpe. We are grateful to you, Father, for all that you have done to the institution as an administrator. And I also remember working together when I was the administrator of the hospital. Father Dennis was the administrator of the medical college. We worked together and it was a joy. And Father, once again, thank you a lot. I also thank Father James de Souza, the parish priest of Wamanjur and also the dean of the city Varado. He is always with us, supporting us. He is also the member of the uh, general body of Father Mullah Charitable East. Thank you very much. I also would like to thank Father Felix Montero, uh, who served our institution as a chaplain for more than 10 years. And last year, uh, he is appointed as the spiritual father. And for the, when I invited Father Felix also, he said, yes, I love this institution and I will be present. And Father Felix is here. Uh, thank you, Father Felix and also we wish you uh, good health. I also thank all my companion priests. We together, 11 of us, shoulder the responsibility of this institution and the administrators of the medical college, of the hospital, of Tumbe Hospital and of Deralakate and also all the assistant administrators and also the chaplains. I am grateful to them because it is a joy to work as a team and they support a lot in all the activities of the institution and shoulder the responsibility along with me. Thank you, dear fathers. In a special way, I would like to thank our governing board members and members of the Centenary Charitable Society for their constant guidance and support. In a special way, I would like to thank our choir and all the instrumentalists uh, today they have been trained by Father Jay Prakash, and today the choir is led by Andrea Lewis and her team. And Father Ajit has taken a lot of trouble to bring them together, to give them practice, and uh, has taken the responsibility of the choir today. Father Ajit, we are grateful to you and the entire team, the choir of our medical college, who have sung very melodiously and added. Uh, more inspiration for our prayer today for this Thanksgiving Mass. Now my thanks goes to the Dean and the faculty of our medical college and also of the hospital and the parents of our students, staff and students of our institution. Today it is uh, uh, the beginning of this academic year, not only of the medical college, uh, MD and MS program, but also Allied Health Science program, also nursing, School of Nursing, as well as College of Nursing, and also College of Speech and Hearing. All the students today of this uh, mass. My special thanks goes to Father Ajit, 
uh, for the medical college has taken a lot of trouble for the arrangements today in this chapel, in the auditorium, and all the at the entrance of the back entrance, and also here, all the required uh, information about our medical college celebrating its uh, uh, entry into the Silver Jubilee year, and also a uh, lot of programs we have planned. Uh, one coffee table book, as well as one souvenir, as well as number of activities from the alumni and today, uh, from the first batch till 25th, one student of our college from the day one, 1999, till today, uh, one student will be, uh, from each batch will be present today for the evening program. And all this has been arranged by Father Ajit, the administrator of the medical college. Father Ajit, thank you very much. I recognize the presence of uh, our faculty, some of them, uh, the day we started the medical college those days, and they are here. Uh, I think um, Dr. Clement and Dr. Hilda, uh, Dr. Leo Tauro, Dr. Martis, and anybody else, and uh, uh, so many of you who, and there are others who are uh, in the hospital now, uh, some of them uh, of, um, not Christians, but they are there. From the day one, when we started the medical college, and they are here till today, and they are continuing their services, uh, the doctors and some of the nurses, uh, technicians, uh, religious sisters, and also our office staff. Uh, they are there from the very inception of this medical college, and they have been uh, very helpful. And I thank all the doctors and all the nurses, the paramedics, the technicians, and those who were there from the day one and even earlier and till today with us in this journey of the medical college to bring about healing and comforting to the sick and the suffering. So with this, I once again thank all of you and uh, wish you all a wonderful day today. Uh, the first class, uh, the first hour maybe in the medical college is uh, today. Uh, is suspended I think it is already late then others will have their classes and work as usual thank you and may God bless us all please stand for a blessing the Lord be with you Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. A blessing in the name of the Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the masses and day.
to pray for us.